everyone, this is Joy with Create It With Joy. Welcome back to my 12 Days of Christmas card series. Today is day seven. I have made a card, a really fun scene card with Santa flying through the sky and a really cute Christmas village at the bottom that he is flying over. So first off, I'm gonna color all these cute little characters and these are from Mama Elephant's Santa's Sleigh. And I'm also gonna be using my Zig Clean Color Real brush markers to color these cute little characters. I will have all the colors I've used listed on the screen. And I'm also gonna be using my water brush pen. Um, I tend to use usually one color and then blend it out with my water brush pen. Um, a couple of these images I used two colors to get a different depth, um, different shadowing and things like that. Excuse my arm guys, sorry, I was reaching for more colors. So for the Santa faces, I am using beige and oatmeal. And the reason I have two Santas on here is because I planned on just coloring two to have another Santa for a different card that I plan on making. Now these cute little reindeer, but I swear they're dogs, they are so darn cute. Their little facial expressions, like they're just so proud and I just absolutely love them. So for their um, antlers, I am using brown and just blending it out with my water brush pen. And I just have a paper towel to the side so I can wipe it off because that water brush pen will carry that color to another image. And so you have to be careful. The same with your um, zigs. If you've blended with another color, just give them a little wipe off. So that's how I do it. I do the dark around the edge and then you can see I just blend out with my water brush pen to get that same shadow and effect that you would get using an alcohol ink marker. And I love these little guys. Oh my gosh, they're just so cute. So I left in the coloring because I really do like to watch people color. There's something ultra satisfying about that. But this little stamp set is so sweet. I love all the little presents. I love his sleigh. I love that you get two Santas in it. I just think it is so adorable. So of course I gave him a little red nose because he needed to be Rudolph because I think every reindeer and or dog <laughs> aspires to be Rudolph. So here I'm gonna color this guy in a different color. Actually, I think he is actually brown and the other guy was um, mid-brown. Or I might have it backwards, one of the two. But I wanted them to stand out different from each other. So add just a little bit of water, add a little bit more dark around where I wanted it shadowed and blended it out. Really, they're so super easy to use. I feel like I can't really mess up. I mean, I have messed up, but I don't feel like I can, it's really a problem. And so here is, I believe this is a natural beige that I used on this little cute little pup riding in the sleigh. Gave him some little rosy cheeks with my light pink. And then just blended that out again with the water. And so here I'm using, I did use two greens on this bag. I originally did not start out with that. So I'm using green and deep green. And sometimes when you squeeze the water brush pens, you do tend to get a little too much water. And I think that's what was happening there. You just dab it off until you have the right amount of water that you work with. I like to personally use um, not too much water I feel like I can't control it that great. So here's the deep green that I brought in around the edges and you can see how much that darkened it up and it really gives a great contrast. So now for the reds, I did use two reds on this because this was a bigger image. So I used wine red and carmine red. because I realized once I blended it out, it looked a little too pink to me on the inside, even though I came back and added more. I love this sleigh. 
And then I colored that little patch on the bag red also. You can make so many cute scenes out of this stamp set, I think. Coloring in these presents with the same reds, blending those out. Here's where I decided I just did not love that inside, so I colored it. Colored it in just a little bit more. I love this cute little sign. And I'm coloring that in red and green. Really, it didn't need too much blending, but I did it anyways. So you could color this and stamp whatever you want to stamp on it later, or you could stamp it first and then color it. I just decided I was going to stamp on it later. They needed their little collars to be green. And this is that green and deep green. What I also like about these markers is their tip is very fine, so you can kind of get into little spots really super easy. Now here's turquoise green that I'm using. Absolutely my favorite color in the whole wide world. With a cute red bow. Just you keep blending it. And if you if it's a little bit wet and it won't take any more of your color, um, come back to it, let it dry and come back to it. Also, I must say to use these zig markers, you need to use um, watercolor paper. So I'm using Bristol Smooth watercolor paper. If you use it on regular cardstock, they it just does not work. Um, and also, if you oversaturate with these in water, it can also kind of make your paper peel a little bit. So just be aware of that. Finish coloring in his cute little sleigh. That present inside needed to be red, just so it could stand out. And of course, time to color Santa. What a cute little Santa. I love his face. He just seems very pleased. <laughs> now again, this is wine red and carmine red. And I had left that little spot open on his coat because it, um, to me, looked like it was the white little fuzzy at the bottom. But I ended up having red bleed into it, so I ended up just coloring over it, um, which was no big deal. Color this cute little Santa. He almost looks like he's in trouble to me. Maybe Mrs. Claus got mad at him. <laughs> Maybe he ate way too many cookies. Same thing, blend him out. And... You know, with these zigs, you can also, you don't even have to use a water brush pen. You can just use them straight like a marker. You don't have to add any water to them and they would also be beautiful that way. I do like the little bit of the watercolor effect that you get from it. So I do tend to use them um, with the water. So this is the natural beige, I believe, that I'm coloring that sign with. And now on the edge of his sleigh, I am using a Jelly Roll glitter pen because I really like the look. And I also followed along the scrolling detail at the bottom of his sleigh with that because it gives it a nice glitter silvery color. Now I'm using my light gray on the white parts. Be really careful because this is where I made some red bleed into my white. 
um, but the gray gives the white a little more depth, makes it look more realistic, really. So here I'm trying to add a ton of water, and then I want to pat it to see if I could lift off that red. It just didn't work, so I just decided to color it, and no big deal. Use the coordinating dies, cut all of those out. And so I'm, I am stamping Santa onto this little sign, so I just used my painter's tape and um, covered up the parts of the stamp I didn't want to use, and then stamped that on there. My original thought was I was going to make two cards, but I did not. So now here is the, the Lawn Fawn Snowfall Landscape Backdrop. And I am using Distress Oxide Inks in Stormy Sky and Black Soot. I really wanted this to look like the middle of the night kind of a sky. And I, these two combinations to me look fantastic. And they blend so nice together. And just keep blending until you get a nice seamless blend between the colors. Cute, cute. Need to clean up my workspace. So now I am going to be using the Lawn Fawn Stitched Hillside Backdrop Portrait. And my thought was I wanted a little town underneath. I wanted a scene, but I did not want it to detract from Santa Claus. I wanted him to be the main star of this card. So I'm also using Lawn Fawn's Stitched Hillside Border. A couple of those. Get those adhered. And I cut all of this town, the trees, the houses, and everything out of white paper. Because again, I wanted to see the town, but I didn't, I didn't want to, it to be in your face and colorful. I just wanted to see Santa flying through the sky. Now I did add some glitter and stuff to the trees in the house because I didn't want it to look like I just didn't finish the card. <laughs> so here are these cute little houses that I die cut. And all the little trees. Just using the Ranger multi matte medium. I'm going to adhere those and I will inlay back in the little white pieces, the windows and the doors, but that you could normally add a colored door or um, your light in the window or whatever, but I just really wanted it to be super plain. Adding the trees. Just have this cute little town underneath Santa Claus. So, I mean, I guess you could do this. You could make it all black and it would feel even more dark or a gray. You know, a gray you'd probably notice a little bit better. But I liked the white because it made it feel very snowy and Christmas-like. And I did gl um, glue on the little roof lines. And I'll be adding Nouveau Glitter Drops and White Blizzard to that because I did feel like you still need a little bit of glitter. Here I'm inlaying all the window and door pieces again. And I'm just using my um, jewel picker. It has a little bit of a sticky end and, and the multi-matte medium. And I wanted Santa to um, have presents just flying out of the back of his sleigh landing down where all the little houses are. But I want him popped up, so using some foam tape for that. Get it in some of those little fine detailed spots. Get all the backing peeled off. And kind of have him like he's flying up high into the sky. The presents I do not want dimension on, so I'm just gonna adhere those straight to the background. And this guy I'm gonna have off the edge and we'll cut him off because that always looks good. So 
So we'll have the big old reindeer, puppy reindeer, adhered straight to the back. And then the little guy, we will pop up with foam tape to give dimension since they're flying side by side. Now here was my dilemma is he needed some reins and I just did not have thin enough black anything like thread or yarn or anything. I would have much rather have done that. Um, because I ended up doing it by hand, which really made me sweat. <laughs> it scared me to death. I thought I was going to mess it up. So here I'm adding um, some score tape to the back. And then I will also add some multi matte medium. And I only added the score tape where there is images on the front, so you can't see, th see through that. And I will be adhering it to an A2 size card base. And I used Nina Classic Crest Solar White 110 pound cardstock for that. And get that attached down. So when I decided to draw the reins, I did it with a pencil and I traced it very lightly first because if I messed up, at least I could erase it. But I really was having a heart attack here. My heart was pounding super hard. <laughs> okay, so before I did that, I'm gonna add some black glaze pin to their little cute noses and the eyes of that cute little pup and some white jelly roll pin to their cheeks and some Nouveau Glitter Drops White Blizzard to the brim of his hat. And then I did some also to some, again, to the tops of the houses and the trees, and I did some of them, some of that to the snowfall in the background, just so you could have a little bit of glitter coming down. But this added detail to the all white scene below without detracting from the scene above. just to some of those little open spots. I love this backdrop, it is fantastic. I had so much fun making this card, you guys. It was a blast. A little bit of um, glossy accents to the reindeer's nose and Santa's nose and to the ribbon on the presents. So now the stamp set that I'm using is Santa Claus is Coming to Town, which is so fitting. And I'm going to be stamping that in the Stormy Sky Distress Oxide ink because I really didn't want any black ink down there. Again, I want it to be super soft and not super noticeable. Okay, so here's where <laughs> I'm going to trace... this cute um the reins for the reindeer and then I traced it with a black pin and then I traced it with my glaze um my black glaze pin you guys I was so nervous like if I ruin this card right now I for real I'm gonna have a heart attack Thank goodness it turned out. And I'm so sorry for my head. I had to be right over. <laughs> I had to be right over my image. So here's the black glaze pen. I just like the, the black glaze pen better than my, I had a fine detail black pen. The glaze has a little bit of that nice shine. Thank you guys again for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed day seven of the Christmas card series. If you like what you've seen, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. All the supplies I use are listed below. Come back tomorrow for day eight of the 12 days of Christmas card series. Have a wonderful holiday and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.